Now, <clears throat> you only can print out strings, of course, words, to the law cat. Um, you have to set up two strings. One, the tag string, separated with a comma, and then the actual message you would like to print out. So, um, you know, we could, our first string, of course, strings are wrapped in quotations. We should do this. That's our tag. And then, hello. I'll be our message, right? But let's, let me use a uh, tag that I already have set up to filter. You can filter out, because there's so much data in the Lawcat from other apps that are running and all this different different things. Uh, let's filter out the tag. Um, uh, yes, I tag slow. Okay, so scroll state. Um, that'll be our tag that we look for in our Lawcat. So whenever anybody prints out the Lawcat, we need to look for uh, scroll state in the error section and then we're gonna just print out hello but no let's print out something relevant let's print out um, let's do this on scroll state change was called okay and that's it so now I can go ahead and run this um, it should run in our emulator and I can open up the log cat here larger and open up our emulator as well it's not running yet let's uh, see here you can go down here to your um, console and see if your app is uploaded to the uh, installing beta cast for APK to emulator um, successfully installed so now I can go to the emulator and check to see the uh, app so let's do that now Oh, emulator here. Okay. So, uh, let's click on the section we're at was the all cast screen with our list view. Um, this is our app. It's a uh, social networking application for applications. Share with your friends what apps you've downloaded and installed. Uh, find out with your favorite friends, celebrities, um, internet superstars. See what they have on their phone. Download the same kind of apps they have. Um, they can share with you. You can share with them. It's all public. Uh, it's a cool little network. Um, and uh, that's not the point of the video. If you would like to check out the app, the link should be at the bottom. This is the super beta version. This is not even the name of the app anymore. A lot of things changed. Artwork has changed. Um, uh, that's one of the reasons why I feel comfortable showing it here. Um, but yeah. Okay. So anyway. Um, what we're doing here is in the law cat you can see we're going to print out when that void is called it is called when the state changes of the scroll right now we have changed at scroll um, state zero right and then when we move we should be at scroll state one but see how nothing pops up in our law cat because it has not changed it changed that one time but it hasn't changed again we're still scrolling we're still at state one then when I stop, and you see that inertia was happening, it called it. And then when it stopped the inertia state, it called it. But now nothing's called, it's not printing in the log cat anymore because it's not being called anymore, right? And we can wipe out the log cat, clear it out, and um, look at this again, right? And then there, um, there, and there. Uh, the inertia state wasn't called, and I said earlier that it's always called on the real phone it was and the emulator it wasn't I'm not sure why um, I don't know anyway just still stick in mind that the second one is always called um, okay so let's go back inside the app and let, let's print out something relevant now um, well here it is here's the void when this void is called let's print out on, uh, on scroll state was called and let's see what state we're in when it's called uh, to do that, we want to take an, a number, a physical number, which is scroll state. Oh, and here, I didn't know. I didn't know if I explain. I don't know if I explained this, but on scroll listener, um, uh, it stuffs the the view and then the on scroll state. Uh, the, those numbers I mentioned earlier, zero, one, and two. Um, so, to turn a number into a string, you can do because um, we only can put strings inside of here, right? You can do parse uh, 
string, two string, I believe. But let's just do it the easy way. We do plus and then the string, right? And I put a space in between here just so that visually we see a space when this comes up. Uh, plus, so we put number four here, you know, number 75, whatever we want to put here, a number we can, but the number we want to put is the scroll stick. Okay. So now if we run this code again, Let's go to the log cat. Okay. Now, um, let's open up the log cat, make it big so we can see. And then let's click on the emulator and all cast. Now let's scroll. Oh, you can't even see the numbers. State two isn't called on the real phone. It's called on emulator. This is my first time running on the emulator. It's, been, it's not called, I guess. All right. Um, maybe it's the version of Android I'm running. I'm running uh, ginger honeycomb ice cream salad. Anyway, let's run this again. You see when I'm scrolling, it's one. When I slow down, it's two. When I stop, it's zero. And so those are the. That's what these numbers represent. The scroll state all right uh, so let's see is there anything else I want to describe about the scroll state change um, yeah let's do let's run some real logic inside of here some real let's do an if statement let's say if and when I set up my if statements I like to set up their parameters and set up their functions or what they're gonna do already all right and now what do we check in if let's say if our scroll state equals equals one, right? So we're scrolling now. When this was called, it was called because we were scrolling, right? Let's say, let's print on the log cat. Let's say, say something relevant, right? Let's say you are scrolling now. Good job. And we we'll use a smiley face emoticon. Right? Alright. So the only time this is called is. No, no. Let's do you. More relevant. You have started scrolling now. Because this is just when you started scrolling. Okay? It's going to be relevant later. You'll see why. And let's run this. Go to the log cat here. Let's uh, clear it out and open up the emulator. And you have started scrolling. Good job. And if I stop, nothing happens. Those three states still happened, but nothing happened here because the logic said, "Hey, it didn't. That thing, that number didn't equal one." But now it does again. See, it equals one. It, it scrolled, but it still didn't run it again. So the logic works. Okay. Now, let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to explain about the? Huh. I feel like there was more I wanted to say. Uh, I did a fake brief rehearsal before I started this video, and I feel like there was more to it than this. All right. Um. What did I do? Oh, I remember now. I did add add more logic. I did um another if statement right and we can say if scroll state most is going to be common sense the scroll state equals equals zero right then do what say do this here put out to the log cat as well you have well let's say you have stopped Yeah, stop scrolling. That makes me sad. Okay. Now, um, most of you already know if statements, right? Um, 
but just to reiterate this is not dependent on this it'll come in handy up here you'll see why but this if statement runs and this if statement runs it's not dependent on if this is not a true answer uh, this just runs regardless not dependent on that uh, if we wanted to make this dependent on this we would do else if All right bring this up here else if now this has to be incorrect before he can even run this um, when this is called when the on scroll when the on scroll listener calls his void the on scroll state changed um, it checks this logic if this is not true and then it runs this if this is if you know if this isn't true but we don't want that we want both of them to be the independent if this is not true whatever if this is true whatever it does it doesn't matter all right let's run this okay let's open up the log cat and open this up and scroll we've started right and we've stopped we start it and we stop and you see no human interaction and it popped it up so that's when those things are called okay let's move along and let's clear out the log cap and then um let's turn this off so it won't do anything to us or we're trying to uh, uh do this section here but in order to turn this off what i want to do is i don't want to erase it you know of course delete it um but we can comment comment it out and of course to make a comment you just do double slashes but i'm gonna have to do it all the way down i don't want to do that so you do one slash and a star and then here do a star and a slash and everything between these two stars will be commented out so this is not running code for those who don't know this is not ex this doesn't exist I can put anything in here it won't crash or not work because it doesn't exist it's just comments inside of the code all right um, now now let's run some logic inside of here uh, let's look at some of these parameters and what do they mean uh, this first one of course we will probably never use it just tells us which view has been scrolled uh, and which view has been scrolled when the on scroll was called and which be, which list is being called and then it would be this list of course uh, but we don't really need it alright the second one is the visible item count okay. I'm looking at this and I knew I messed up uh, when I seen it this is backwards this doesn't go here and it doesn't matter of course we already know it doesn't matter but I like having the names represent what they do and this name doesn't belong here if I'm going to use this name to represent what it does because the first thing that it does is it gives you the first visible item here we go the first visible item and what this is is each list view that you create is number each row is numbered you know row one row two row three but each row is numbered zero to the total, you know. So if you got 22 rows, it'll be zero to 21, you know, because now one to 21 is zero. I mean, one to 22 is zero to 21. Okay. Um, this represents the first uh, uh, row that you can see at the top of the screen. Just to pull up the emulator real quick, and this is not code. This is not the code type, but um, if we scroll to the very top. Um, we see this very first one which would be z row zero row one row two the first one we can see is zero if I move this up if a sliver of row zero is showing then but still the first item is zero if I move this up just right oh geez move this up just right there now the first one is row two, one because it's the second row right it's hard to uh, you got to grasp it it's just hard to grasp you know gotta clear the log cat when is on scroll called it's different than on state change. On scroll is called every single time you're scrolling. When you when you're when that, when that thing is physically moving on the screen, whether the humans did it, whether it's inertia, doesn't matter. It doesn't care. It's the list is scrolling is moving. I'm being called every second, every time. Um, that's his advantage and his disadvantage. Let's copy the log cap printout instead of retyping all that. And let's do this here. Let's change the message here. And let's do on scroll was called, right? We should see a billion.